Okay, last one. Yay, right? Last example. A projectile problem. And the reason that this is a quadratic formula is because you can see, now you don't have to come up with this one on your own. They're going to give you the equation, but you see it involves a t squared. So instead of x squared, it's t squared. But hey, that's still a quadratic equation, which means we can still use things like completing the square or factoring or quadratic formula in order to solve for it. So let's say this. We have an object that's thrown or fired, fired straight upwards, so like a bullet that's shot straight up or a ball that's thrown straight up. An initial speed of v sub 0, that just means 0 meaning time 0, or original, if you want to think about that, the initial velocity, the initial speed, it's going to reach a height of h feet after t seconds, where h and t are related by this formula. So let's suppose that a bullet is shot straight upward with an initial speed of 800 feet per second. Well, notice that it says an initial speed of v naught. That means that we can take this and we can put it in for that v naught, that v sub zero. So that means that really our formula is h is negative 16 t squared plus 800 t. Now. The question is, when does the bullet fall back to ground, to ground level? We have to do a little bit of thinking here. Let's see, if I'm at ground level, uh, let's think about this. So I shoot straight upward, and I come right back down, uh, and it's going to hit here. And the one thing that I know about that, I don't know what the time is going to be. That's what I'm trying to solve. But I do know that the height is 0, right? So I can take this equation here, and I can put in a 0 for h. 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 800t. And that's what I need to solve. Okay, ways to solve this. Let's see here. I think the easiest way would be to factor. So I can say 0 is equal to uh, the 16 and 800. Are those divisible by the same thing? Yeah, you know what? In fact, 16 times 50 is 800. That's pretty convenient. So I'm going to factor out uh, a 16 and if I do that, I'm left with negative t plus 50, or 50 minus t, if you want to say that. So, if I want to have a 0, going back to that 0 property rule, remember, a times b is 0, either a is 0 or b is 0. Remember that from the, from the factoring stuff we did earlier? Well, that means the only way I can get a 0 here is if t equals 0, or negative t plus 50 equals 0. Well, solving for t here then, uh, maybe I could add t to both sides, and that means that t is equal to 50. So either no time has passed, or 50 seconds have passed. Why, why seconds? Because it says t seconds up here in the description, right? Well, here would be the 0 when you initially shoot it. It goes up for 25, it comes back down for 25. Hey, 50 seconds has gone by. How high is the highest point the bullet reaches then? Well, here's what I know. 25 seconds has gone by to get to the top because it takes another 25 to fall back down. It's the halfway point, right? So we can go ahead and skip straight to part D here. How high is the highest point the bullet reaches? Well, I'm solving for, in this case, the height, right? How high is it? And it's governed by this equation, negative 16t squared plus 800t. And in this case, we know it's the halfway point. So h is equal to negative 16 times 25 squared plus 800 times 25. Now it's just a matter of doing this. Now notice the 16 isn't squared. It's just the 25 that's squared. So I'm going to take 25. I'm going to square it. I'm going to multiply it by 16. That's really negative 10,000 plus 800 times 25 is 20,000. So the height is negative 10,000 plus 20,000. Little calculator math. You'll see that it's 10,000. So the maximum height of this bullet is 10,000. That actually helps us solve part C. When does it reach a, height, reach a height of 2 miles? So first of all, we have to know how high a mile is. And it turns out that a mile is... Oh, geez, 5,280 feet, right? One mile is 5,280 feet. hope I'm correct on that one. So two miles would be 5,280 times two, which is 10,560 feet.
Now notice, that's 10,560 feet, and the highest po point the bullet reaches is 10,000 feet. So we got a problem here, don't we? And the problem is, it doesn't go that high. Makes part C pretty easy, doesn't it? All right. Well, then we've established that it'll go up to a height of 10,000. That means that the last question is reachable. It is attainable to reach 6,400 feet, right? When is it 6,400 feet? Well, that means then, if I have this equation, that means that I know that I'm putting in 6,400 for H. When is it equal to 6,400, right? Can I solve this? So my suggestion would be put everything on one side, quadratic formula. Um, let's see here. I like the t squared to be positive, so I'm going to add 16t squared and subtract 800t from both sides. So that means I actually have the zero on the left instead of the right. No big deal. 16t squared minus 800t plus 6400. Uh, you know what? I wonder if those are all divisible by 16. Let's see, 800 divided by 16, we already determined is 50. 6400 divided by 16 is 400. Hey, that's pretty nice. You know what? I'm going to divide every single thing, including the zero on the left, by 16. I can do that as long as I'm fair, right? 0 divided by 16 is 0. That ends up being t squared, because those go away. 800 over 16 is 50. And 6400 over 16 is plus 400. All right. So now I can go through. Uh, can I factor that? Maybe. Let's see, 1 and 400? No. Um, 2 and 200? No. 4 and 100? No. 50 and 8? Nope. I don't know. You know what? Let's just do let's do quadratic formula. A is 1, B is negative 50, and C is 400. That means, remember we're going to have two answers, right? Solving instead of x squared, we're solving for t squared. t is equal to negative b over 2a, pause if you need to, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now it's a matter of simplifying. Pause if you need to. Here we go. Left one. I see a double negative on top, so that's really a positive 50, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 seconds, give or take, there we go. 50 squared is 2,500. 4 times 400 is 1,600. That's all over 2. A little bit closer. 2,500 minus 1,600 is my next step. That ends up being 900. And that's all over 2. And so now I'm going to go on my calculator and I want to find out the square root of 900 is actually 30. So they've set it up conveniently for you. Now remember, it's 30 divided by 2, which is really just 15. 25, give or take 15 seconds, which means that I'm going to happen 25 minus 15 is 10, and 25 plus 15 is 40. So the answer is at 10 seconds and at 40 seconds. And that's after I shoot, right? That's when it's going to reach a height of 6,400 6, feet. All right. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. That's a pretty typical word problem. That's a pretty long problem because it's got four parts. That's why it took 10 minutes to do. But if you can do those, I guarantee you can do any problem in our homework. You can do any problem in the chapter.